Well, good morning, everyone. I wanted to get on here this morning on my coffee walk and do a little update on my pepper plants. Now, a lot of you came along with me last week as I showed you some pretty major holes that were going on in my peppers. And I got a ton of great suggestions and tips for some solutions and what to do. So I implemented some of those solutions and camera guy and I came out last night and took a look what was going on. Here's what we found. Things. First of all, I wet some cardboard. Some viewers suggested this. Oh, there's earwigs. So when you wet cardboard, the creepy crawlies crawl under there. See those earwigs? They just crawled away. Well, nothing under there. No earwigs under there. Now I just put these out today, so it might, you know, might not show up right now. Might be later in the hey, evening. Hey, is this the beer? Yeah, this is the beer. I did a dark beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that matters. Hmm. It looks like there's some aphids in there. Right on. Oh, look, earwigs. He's headed for it. Don't touch it. See if he goes in. You never know what you see in the garden at night. I think so. They're attracted by the smell of the beer. You heard last call. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Well, he's going around it, but it's supposed to work for slugs. I don't know about earwigs. Let's look under this newspaper. Oh, look, he's going for the, going for the cardboard. Who's he? The earwig. The cardboard, when, they, when the cardboard is wet, the bugs are attracted to it, so then you can find out what's eating your plants. So see how he's crawling right under it? Yeah, I don't get what the cardboard has to do with well, it. Well, then you can tell what's eating your plants. It attracts the bugs. I have yeah. no idea what's eating them, but now I can lift it up. Oh, so you gotta come, if you do this, you gotta come out here at night. Yeah, you gotta check it. Hey, there you go. There's Something the earwig. To do. So I do know there's earwigs in here, which will eat your plants too. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's go see if anything's changed overnight. Now we have had a lot of nights in the 40s, so the peppers are growing very, very slowly. There is one really nice California Wonder Pepper sizing up right there. So I'm super excited to harvest the peppers. This week is supposed to be warmer, so I'm hoping to see a lot of growth. Okay, so let's check under this cardboard. We did see some earwigs under here last night. And I think I need to soak the cardboard down a little bit better. So thanks to all of you who gave me tips on um, putting this wet cardboard underneath to help figure out what's going on. So nothing under here this morning. Let me check under here. I think they might just kind of hide under here at night. And I probably should scrape away the mulch right there and I should be able to see them a little bit better. Now let's check some of the traps here. This is the beer traps. I was hoping to find some slugs here this morning, but all I'm seeing is more aphids. So let's just kind of go down the line here and check my beer traps. Oh, there is one little something in there. I think it is an earwig. See that, guys? So that's a good sign. At least they're climbing in. Mac, you gotta scooch out of the way. Gotta check my traps. Mac, come here. Good boy. <laughs> okay, a couple little bugs, but no slugs. No slugs. No slugs. And no slugs. So I'm striking out with the slugs. Now I wouldn't say I'm seeing any new holes in the pepper leaves. I did leave the leaves on that had holes in them in hopes that the bugs would keep chewing on them and not chew on any of the brand new leaves. But I think I am going ahead, going to go ahead and prune these off today and hope for some new growth. Oh, this coffee just tastes so good this morning. I really need the wake up today. Now last week I did spray the planter behind me entirely down with neem oil and I also sprinkled Sluggo Plus. So hopefully that's gonna help. I'm gonna be spraying it every three days or so. Now I really appreciate a lot of your concern that I was spraying neem oil during the day that it would burn my plants. However, I was spraying in the morning. It was gonna be a cool day, only about 65 degrees and the plants were just fine. But you do want to avoid spraying neem oil on a hot day, especially in the heat of the day. Either spray early in the morning or late at night to avoid harming your plants. A lot of you are also concerned about neem oil hurting the bees. Now the bees don't suck or chew on the leaves 
and that's um, where neem oil is super effective is those earwigs, those slugs, those snails that chew on the leaves, ingest the neem oil on the leaves and it really disrupts their life cycle. But I do try and avoid spraying the flowers and again early in the morning or in the evening when the bees aren't as active. Now what I want to do is go check out the salsa garden and see how the peppers are doing over there. You ready? Now as we're walking over to the salsa garden, I just want to show you these beautiful forget-me-nots. I did not even remember planting these flowers in this container here. This is where my orange tree is growing. And the forget-me-nots are in my cool season pollinators collection. They are so pretty, such a delicate flower and a really big bee attractor. I love seeing the bees in the garden. So let's go take a look at the salsa garden. If you guys missed the salsa garden video, it is such a fun container to grow in. It's that big, bright, purple smart pots. I think there's about, oh, is it 13? Yeah, 13 feet of growing space in here. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm absolutely loving the salsa garden. It's growing beautifully. And you know what? There are almost zero holes in any of these leaves so that neem oil and the Sluggo Plus is working well and the peppers are really starting to take off. And this tomato here, I believe that's a yellow brandy wine. I am so excited to try that tomato. Yellow tomatoes are the sweetest and it's gonna be so, so tasty. I want to look in here and see if any of the onions I planted or the cilantro is coming up. Oh, there we have it. A little teeny tiny bunching onion. The bunching onions grow in bunches. They're gonna be smaller onions looking like that and you can harvest them as you need them. There's a couple other little seedlings coming up. It's so much fun to see the seedlings in the garden. Oh, and I think there's a few, yes, a few cilantro seedlings. Well, I just wanna thank you again for all of your helpful tips and tricks on how to deal with holes in my pepper leaves. Comment below, let me know what challenges you're having in your garden. It's so wonderful to be a part of this garden community that supports each other through all the ups and the downs of garden. Well, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified of any future videos. And if you need seeds or Calicum Smart Pots, head to my website, calicumgardeninghome.com. Pick up some and get to growing veggies. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.